Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you a quick tip on how to recover some footage with vignetting. So a lot of times wide angles can cause this sort of effect right here. And it is this sort of strong vignetting around the sides. And in this particular situation, it was because I was using a wide angle lens, and then I had a sort of um, an ND filter on the front. The problem was when I zoomed all the way out, it actually saw the ND filter around the edges and it caused this sort of vignetting to it. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna show you how to turn it into this right here. Um, you will have to zoom it in just a touch to fix any vignetting. Uh, that's just to remove some of the really bad parts. And then we just do a little correction on the edges to help bring it back into what now is normal footage right here. Um, so to do this, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is first just drag in our footage right here. So we have this footage and we have this really strong vignette on the right side over here, and then a little bit less of a vignette on the left side. So to remove this or to help remove this, first off, we need to increase the scale of our footage. This, these black areas op up here are not going to be recoverable. They, there was no information captured there. So the, the blackest of the black here and here just won't be recoverable. So what we want to do is just scale it in a touch just to get rid of that. Now we can scale basically safely up to 115 without a lot of quality loss. There'll be a tiny bit of quality loss, but anywhere from 115 down to 100 is usually pretty safe to scale to. And you can see we've already removed a decent amount of the problem, but if you still had to, let's say you could only scale it into maybe 107 or 108 and still have quality, we can still work with this. All we wanna do is remove that the, the blackest parts, the right there at the very edges of the vignette. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom it in just enough so that it removes those, and we'll, stay, we'll stick with 107 for this. The next thing we wanna do is we actually want to create a reverse vignette on it. So if we go into here, we click on it, we go to Color, and then we go down to the bottom of Lumetri Color, there is a setting called vignette. If we go to the left, we're just going to sort of make the problem even worse by creating a vignette ourselves. But if we go to the right, what we do is you can see that we actually add a little bit of white to it. So you can see we just add a little touch of white. We don't want to go over, uh, you know, like overboard on this. So just maybe from here, bring it up to maybe like 1.1-ish. And all we're doing is we're just counteracting a little bit of the effect. And then now if we play through it, we notice that there's still a little bit of the lens down here, but overall, there's been a lot of correction. So maybe we want to increase it though a little bit more. There's still a little black up here, down there, maybe it's like 110. And now you'll see that what we've done is we've removed that sort of vignetted effect around the edges, and we've also removed the, the really strong vignette around the edges as well. So it's just a couple of clicks, we've recovered this footage. If we had started and we tried to use this in somewhere, this would be really, really distracting. With just a little bit of an adjustment, we've helped make this a little bit less distracting. And if this is just a small shot in the, the whatever film we're making, this is probably pretty acceptable for that small film. So I just wanted to go over this sort of this technique. I noticed it on some of my footage and I was trying to find some way that I could reduce the effect. Like I said, it's not going to be something that you can completely remove, but you can and help make it a little bit more viewable. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm making a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.